Hey everyone, it's Claudia, and today I'm back with another process video using the Crate Paper Pool Set Collection. And um, after I finished the first layout I posted yesterday, I kind of looked at the back side of this uh, paper I used for my background, and I saw this beautiful, um, you know, it's kind of like pink, it goes from light pink to um, like a darker pink, and it has like text, kind of almost like a typewriter kind of text uh, design on it as well. and. I thought that it would be a nice idea to kind of make a all pink sort of layout and kind of do a vertical design. And because the background paper is quite busy, I cut off half of a 6x6 white cardstock paper, uh, which I've been doing, um, you know, quite often uh, recently. And forget you saw that, <laughs> that was so dumb. I tried to staple it with the wrong side of the stapler. I guess that goes to show you how often I use the stapler. Um, but back to my story, uh, I used half of a 12x12 white cardstock paper just to kind of tone it down. And um, the picture is just a selfie of me wearing some random sunglasses. Um, this was during one of me and my boyfriend's trips to the beach again. And um, I was just sitting in a car and I just thought, hey, let's take a selfie, and um, I just got it printed in black and white because I thought it looked better in black and white, and I do like that this layout is in black and white. So my layers are just um, some papers from the 6x6 paper pad, and um, one of the papers is actually from the Craft Market collection, the one with the pink chevron and the gold glitter, and then the vellum uh, piece is from the Maggie Holmes open book collection. And it's just a scrap piece of paper because I've used it a few times and I'm pretty much all um, out of it. Like, I don't really have that much left. Um, I think even at this point while I'm recording the voiceover, I uh, like threw it out because I only had like super tiny uh, scrap pieces left. So um, before I started the recording, I kind of went through the container with ephemera and kind of put um, the pink pieces on top because I didn't want you to have to watch me... Um, go through it because you know sometimes it can be a little bit boring so I just kind of put it at the top and uh, I'm not sure which ones I want to use and which ones I don't want to use yet but I kind of wanted the choice to be easier instead of having to look at every single piece um, individually so I'm using that chipboard frame behind my photo at first I wanted to use it over my photo but I quickly found out that it was way too small for that and it was probably also going to be too small for most of my photos so I just decided to use it as a layering piece as well and my title was going to be Sun Selfie and I was using those tiny alphas that I had left from the Maggie Holmes Confetti um, sticker sheet and I didn't have any E's left but I used um, Freeze to um, kind of replace the E's but I didn't like the way it looks so you will see me put it down and then take it off again because I decided that I didn't really um, want it on my layout. So now I'm just kind of going through those bits and pieces that I had taken out of the container and kind of placing them um, vertically, kind of like in the middle where it splits between the white cardstock and the pattern paper. And um, you know, I'm not taking too long for this, I'm just quickly kind of deciding, okay, this looks fine, I'm just going to commit and not overthink it. And um, I actually really like the way this layout turned out. It's very, it's very pink heavy, but um, you know what can I say? Sometimes it's just nice to make an all pink layout. Just kind of you know select all your pink embellishments and just make a layout that has a ton of pink. And uh, for this collection, this is going to be that layout. And here you see me struggling with that selfie, um, those tiny alphas. And like I said, I wanted to put them on my layout and I even put them on some foam square uh, stickers but you know like I said I really didn't like the way that it looked so you will see me take it off in a second here right now <laughs> and um yeah you know tomorrow is going to be another video and I can tell you right now that it's going to be a video where I'm using free photos so if you were like Claudia please use more photos on a layout for change then you should definitely check back tomorrow because I will be using free photos on a layout then. And I'm using this ice cream cone and even though my photo doesn't really have anything to do with ice cream, 
um, it still worked with the layout. And um, I kind of forgot that I wanted to use the other half of this doily. So um, I used a few cut apart pieces that I'm going to be covering up right now, but uh, it's not the end of the world. And here is another fail. So I was like, let's just staple down this gold glittered heart that I had punched out. And um, first of all, it's not even properly stapled in. It's like half off or something. And it doesn't look good at all. So off screen, I um, got the staple out again and just used glue to stick it down. And now I'm just kind of taking a look at the sticker sheet and just pulling out some um, pink stickers that will work with my layout. And I'm cutting this tab sticker in half and layering it on both sides of my layout, which is something that I do all the time as well. And if you are a new subscriber, then thank you for subscribing. And I hope you will enjoy my future videos as well. Um, I'm excited about my scrappy future because I have a lot of lovely collections um, sitting in boxes right now. So I'm super excited to um, start working with them. So at this point I'm adding this gold foil chipboard um, arrow which is from the chipboard sheet from the same poolside collection. And now I'm going to add a few of those puppy stickers which is from the crepe paper craft market collection. And um, that will basically finish off my layout, I think. Or not. <laughs> I'm just scrolling down in Windows Movie Maker and seeing how much there's left. I'm almost done. So I'm cutting out like a tiny strip off of the paper, because I had two of that sheet. And I'm just cutting out um, Sunshine. And I'm going to put it right there, because I thought that it would look interesting. And I'm going to add some gold. Um, Heidi Swap Color Shine as well, and that will finish up my layout for real this time. After I, <laughs> I guess I have no idea what I was doing, but I'm adding some thread now, and then I will add some sweaters. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to check back tomorrow, and also check out my blog to see uh, more detailed uh, information about the layout. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you will have a great day. Bye.